The turkey is a large bird in the juice maligris, which is native to the Americas. The earliest turkeys evolved in North America over 20 million years ago, and they share a recent common ancestor with grouse, pheasants, and other fowl. Turkeys are classed in the family of Phagianidae, pheasants, partridges, francolins, junglefowl, grouse, and relatives thereof, in the taxonomic order of Galliformes. The genus Meligris is the only extant genus in the subfamily Meligridae, formerly known as the family Meligridae but now subsumed within the family Phagianidae. Scientific Classification, Kingdom Animalia, Phylum Chordata, Class Aves, Order Galliformes, Family Phagianidae, Subfamily Meligridae, Genus Meligris Linnaeus, 1758, Lifespan, 3 to 5 years, Adult, in the wild, Clutch size, 10 to 14, weight, male, 5 to 11 kilograms, adult, female, 2.5 to 5.4 kilograms, adult. A number of turkeys have been described from fossils. An infant turkey is called a chick or a poult. Turkeys were domesticated in ancient Mexico for food and or for their cultural and symbolic significance. The Aztecs, for example, had a name for the turkey, Huazolotl, Guajolot in Spanish, a word still used in modern Mexico in addition to the general term pavo. Spanish chroniclers, including Bernal Diaz del Castillo and Father Bernardino de Seligan, Describe the multitude of food, both raw fruits and vegetables as well as prepared dishes, that were offered in the vast markets, Tanguis, of Tenochtitlan, noting there were tamales made of turkey, iguana, chocolate, vegetables, fruit, and more. The ancient people of Mexico had not only domesticated the turkey but had apparently developed sophisticated recipes including these ingredients, many used to this day, over hundreds of years. There are two theories for the derivation of the name turkey, according to Columbia University professor of Romance languages Mario Pei. One theory is that when Europeans first encountered turkeys in America, they incorrectly identified the birds as a type of guinafowl, which were already being imported into Europe by Turkey merchants via Constantinople and were therefore nicknamed turkey cock. The name of the North American bird thus became turkey fowl or Indian turkeys which was then shortened to just turkeys. A second theory arises from turkeys coming to England not directly from the Americas, but via merchant ships from the Middle East, where they were domesticated successfully. Again the importers lent the name to the bird, Middle Eastern merchants were called Turkey merchants as much of that area was part of the Ottoman Empire. Hence the name turkey cocks and turkey hens, and soon thereafter, turkeys. In 1550, the English navigator William Strickland, who had introduced the turkey into England, was granted a coat of arms including a turkey cock in his pride proper. William Shakespeare used the term in Twelfth Night believed to be written in 1601 or 1602. The lack of context around his usage suggests that the term was already widespread. Turkeys have been known to be aggressive toward humans and pets in residential areas. Wild turkeys have a social structure and pecking order and habituated turkeys may respond to humans and animals as they do to another turkey. 
habituated turkeys may attempt to dominate or attack people that the birds view as subordinates. The town of Brookline, Massachusetts, recommends that citizens be aggressive toward the turkeys, take a step towards them, and not back down. Brookline officials have also recommended making noise, clanging pots or other objects together, popping open an umbrella, shouting and waving your arms, squirting them with a hose, allowing your leashed dog to bark at them, and forcefully fending them off with a broom. In Armenian, it is called Ntkohev or Ntkohev, literally meaning Indian chicken. In Hebrew, the turkey is called Tarngal Hadu, literally meaning rooster of India. In Italian it is known as Palo d'India, with clear reference to India, although the most common name is Tachino, that apparently refers to the sound that turkey makes. In Polish and Ukrainian, it is Indic, a reference to India. Similarly it is Indic in Yiddish, also referring to India. The Dutch word is called Koen, derived from the city Calicut in India, likewise Danish, Estonian and Norwegian Kalkun, Swedish Kalkin, and Finnish Kalkuna, as well as in Papiamento Kalkuna. In Khmer, the turkey is called Mon Brang, which translates as French chicken. The term French is frequently used in Cambodia to refer to things and people of Western origin, as historically Cambodia's primary contact with the West was via French colonization. In Hawaiian, it is called Palu, from the Portuguese. The Hawaiian nobleman Baki acquired turkeys during the South American leg of his world tour and introduced both the bird and the Hawaiian transliteration of the Portuguese term Peru to Hawaiian later, in 1827, to Rotuma. In Portuguese and Galician, the word for turkey is Peru, which also refers to the country Peru. In Japanese, the turkey is called Shikimancho which literally means seven-faced bird. In German, it is called Trutten, derived from trut for the call used to lure the bird, and hen, rooster. In Swahili, the turkey is called Bitamzina, meaning the great duck. In Tagalog, the turkey is called Pavo, from the Spanish word Pavo. In Tamil, it is called Vankazi, meaning sky chicken. In Telugu, it is called Sima Kodi, Maga Sima Kodi. In Urdu, it is called Filmurk, meaning elephant chicken. In anatomical terms, the snood is an erectile, fleshy protuberance on the forehead of turkeys. Most of the time when the turkey is in a relaxed state, the snood is pale and 2 to 3 centimeters long. However, when the male begins strutting, the courtship display, the snood engorges with blood becomes redder and elongates several centimeters, hanging well below the beak. Snoods are just one of the caruncles, small, fleshy excrescences, that can be found on turkeys. While fighting, commercial turkeys often peck and pull at the snood, causing damage and bleeding. This often leads to further injurious pecking by other turkeys and sometimes results in cannibalism. To prevent this, some farmers cut off the snood when the chick is young, a process known as desnooding. 
The snood can be between 1 and 6 inches in length depending on the turkey's sex, health, and mood. The gobble is a loud, rapid gurgling sound made by male turkeys. The gobble is one of the principal vocalizations of the male wild turkey and is used primarily in the spring to let hens know he is in the area. Turkey eggs are larger than chicken eggs and are a little bit pointier. They are usually off-white with speckles. The inside of a turkey egg will look much similar to a chicken egg, once you crack it open. Other than that, the only other difference between the two types of eggs is the thickness of the shell. A turkey egg shell is thicker than a chicken's and much more difficult to crack open. Yes. In fact, most bird or poultry eggs are safe to eat dot and delicious to boot. Turkey eggs don't taste much different than a chicken egg. Some people prefer them and eat them on a regular basis. Turkey meat, commonly referred to as just turkey, is the meat from turkeys, typically domesticated turkeys but also wild turkeys. It is a popular poultry dish, especially in North America, where it is traditionally consumed as part of culturally significant events such as Thanksgiving and Christmas, as well as in standard cuisine. Wild turkeys, while technically the same species as domesticated turkeys, have a very different taste from farm-raised turkeys. Almost all of the meat is dark, including the breast, with a more intense flavor. The flavor can also vary seasonally with changes in available forage, often leaving wild turkey meat with a gamier flavor in late summer due to the greater number of insects in its diet over the preceding months. Wild turkey that has fed predominantly on grass and grain has a milder flavor. Older heritage breeds also differ in flavor. A large amount of turkey meat is processed. It can be smoked, and as such, is sometimes sold as turkey ham or turkey bacon which is considered to be far healthier than pork bacon. Twisted helices of deep-fried turkey meat, sold as turkey twizzlers, came to prominence in the UK in 2004 when chef Jamie Oliver campaigned to have them and similar foods removed from school dinners. Turkey has a higher flesh-to-bone and cartilage ratio. 
This means that the meat is not infused with as much flavor and juices as chicken meat is during the cooking process. It is less flavorful, and less succulent and juicy. According to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, USDA, National Nutrient Database, 3 ounces or 85 grams of non-enhanced, roasted turkey breast contains, 135 calories 3.26 grams of fat 0 grams of carbohydrate 24.70 grams of protein. In comparison, the same amount of dark roasted turkey meat contains, 173 calories 5.13 grams of fat 0 grams of carbohydrate 23.55 grams of protein. Turkey also contains, vitamins B6 vitamin B12 niacin choline selenium zinc. The dark meat of a turkey tends to contain more vitamins and minerals but also has more fat and calories. Turkey contains the amino acid tryptophan. This is said to be the cause of people wanting to nap after a big Thanksgiving dinner. The wild turkey, Meligris gallopavo, is an upland ground bird native to North America, one of two extant species of turkey, and the heaviest member of the diverse Califorms. It is the same species as the domestic turkey, which was originally derived from a southern Mexican subspecies of wild turkey, not the related oscillated turkey. Although native to North America, the turkey probably got its name from the domesticated variety being imported to Britain in ships coming from the Levant via Spain. The British at the time therefore associated the wild turkey with the country Turkey and the name prevails. However, a second theory posits that another bird. A guinea fowl native to Madagascar introduced to England by Turkish merchants, was the original source. The term was transferred to the New World bird by English settlers with knowledge of the previous species. The adult male, or tom, normally weighs from 5 to 11 kilograms, 11 to 24 pounds and measures 100 to 125 centimeters, 39 to 49 inches, in length. The adult female, or hen, is typically much smaller at 2.5 to 5.4 kilograms, 5.5 to 11.9 pounds, and is 76 to 95 centimeters. 30 to 37 inches long dot per two large studies the average weight of adult males is 7.6 kilograms 17 pounds and the average weight of adult females is 4.26 kilograms 9.4 pounds the wings are relatively small as is typical of the galliform order and the wingspan ranges from 1.25 to 1.44 meters, 4 feet 1 inches to 4 feet 9 inches. The wing cord is only 20 to 21.4 centimeters, 7.9 to 8.4 inches. The bill is also relatively small, as adults measure 2 to 3.2 centimeters. 0.79 to 1.26 inches, in common length. The tarsus of the wild turkey is quite long and sturdy, measuring from 9.7 to 19.1 centimeters, 3.8 to 7.5 inches. The tail is also relatively long, 
ranging from 24.5 to 50.5 centimeters, 9.6 to 19.9 inches. The record-sized adult male wild turkey, according to the National Wild Turkey Federation, weighed 16.85 kilograms, 37.1 pounds, with records of tom turkeys weighing over 13.8 kilograms, 30 pounds, uncommon but not rare. While it is usually rather lighter than the waterfowl, after the trumpeter swan, Cygnus bussinator, the turkey has the second heaviest maximum weight of any North American bird. Going on average mass, several other birds on the continent, including the American white pelican, Pelicanus erythrorhynchos, the tundra swan, Cygnus columbianus columbianus, and the very rare California condor. Gymnogyps californianus, and whooping crane, Grus americana, surpass the mean weight of turkeys. Wild turkeys are omnivorous, foraging on the ground or climbing shrubs and small trees to feed. They prefer eating acorns, nuts and other hard mass to various trees, including hazel, chestnut, hickory and pinion pine as well as various seeds, berries such as juniper and bearberry, roots and insects. Turkeys also occasionally consume amphibians and small reptiles such as lizards and small snakes. Poults have been observed eating insects, berries, and seeds. Wild turkeys often feed in cow pastures sometimes visit backyard bird feeders, and favor croplands after harvest to scavenge seeds on the ground. Turkeys are also known to eat a wide variety of grasses. When mating is finished, females search for nest sites. Nests are shallow dirt depressions engulfed with woody vegetation. Hens lay a clutch of 10 to 14 eggs usually one per day. The eggs are incubated for at least 28 days. The poults are precocial and nidifugous, leaving the nest in about 12 to 24 hours. Eastern Wild Turkey, Meligris gallopivo silvestris, v. Lot, 1817. This was the turkey subspecies Europeans first encountered in the wild, by the Puritans, the founders of Jamestown, the Dutch who lived in New York, and by the Acadians. Its range is one of the largest of all subspecies, covering the entire eastern half of the United States from Maine and the north to northern Florida and extending as far west as Minnesota. Illinois, and into Missouri. In Canada, its range extends into southeastern Manitoba, Ontario, southwestern Quebec, including Pontiac, Quebec and the lower half of the western Quebec seismic zone, and the maritime provinces. They number from 5.1 to 5.3 million birds. They were first named forest turkey in 1817, and can grow up to 4 feet, 1.2 meters, tall. The upper tail covers are tipped with chestnut brown. Males can reach 30 pounds, 14 kilograms, in weight. The eastern wild turkey is heavily hunted in the eastern USA and is the most hunted wild turkey subspecies. Osceola wild turkey or Florida wild turkey, M. G. Osceola, Scott, 1890. Most common in the Florida Peninsula. They number from 80,000 to 100,000 birds. 
This bird is named for the famous Seminole leader Osceola, and was first described in 1890. It is smaller and darker than the eastern wild turkey. The wing feathers are very dark with smaller amounts of the white barring seen on other subspecies. Their overall body feathers are near iridescent green purple color. They are often found in scrub patches of palmetto and occasionally near swamps, where amphibian prey is abundant. Osceola turkeys are the smallest subspecies weighing 16 to 18 pounds, 7 to 8 kilograms. Rio Grande Wild Turkey, M. G. Intermedia, Senate, 1879. The Rio Grande Wild Turkey ranges through Texas to Oklahoma, Kansas, New Mexico, Colorado, Oregon, Utah, and was introduced to Central and Western California, as well as parts of a few northeastern states. It was also introduced to Hawaii in the late 1950s. Population estimates for this subspecies are around 10 locks. This subspecies, native to the Central Plain states, was first described in 1879, and has relatively long legs, better adapted to a prairie habitat. Its body feathers often have a green coppery sheen. The tips of the tail and lower back feathers are a buff to very light tan color. Its habitats are brush areas next to streams, rivers or mesquite, pine and scrub oak forests. The Rio Grande turkey is gregarious. Merriam's wild turkey, M. G. Mariami, Nelson, 1900. The Merriam's wild turkey ranges through the Rocky Mountains and the neighboring prairies of Wyoming, Montana and South Dakota, as well as much of the high Mesa country of New Mexico, Arizona, southern Utah and the Navajo Nation with number from 334,460 to 344,460 birds. The subspecies has also been introduced into Oregon. The initial releases of Merriam's turkeys in 1961 resulted in establishing a remnant population of Merriam's turkeys along the east slope of Mount Hood and natural immigration of turkeys from Idaho has established Merriam's flocks along the eastern border of Oregon. Merriam's wild turkeys live in Ponderosa Pine and mountainous regions. The subspecies was named in 1900 in honor of Clinton Hart Merriam, the first chief of the U.S. Biological Survey. The tail and lower back feathers have white tips and purple and bronze reflections. Gould's Wild Turkey, M. G. Mexicana, Gould. 1856. Native from the central valleys to the northern mountains of Mexico and the southernmost parts of Arizona and New Mexico. Gould's wild turkeys are heavily protected and regulated. The subspecies was first described in 1856. They exist in small numbers in the U.S. but are abundant in northwestern portions of Mexico. A small population has been established in southern Arizona. Goulds are the largest of the six subspecies. They have longer legs, larger feet, and longer tail feathers. The main colors of the body feathers are copper and greenish gold. This subspecies is heavily protected owing to its skittish nature and threatened status.
South Mexican wild turkey, M. G. Galopavo, Linnaeus, 1758. The South Mexican wild turkey is considered the nominate subspecies, and the only one that is not found in the United States or Canada. In central Mexico, archaeological M. Galopivo bones have been identified at sites dating to 800 to 100 BC. It is unclear whether these early specimens represent wild or domestic individuals, but domestic turkeys were likely established in central Mexico by the first half of the Classic period, c. AD 200 to 1000. Late Pre-Classic, 300 BC at 100, Turkey remains identified at the archaeological site of El Mirador. Payton, Guatemala, represent the earliest evidence of the export of the South Mexican wild turkey, Maligris Galopivo Galopivo, to the ancient Maya world. The South Mexican wild subspecies, M. G. Galopivo, was domesticated either in Mexico or by pre-classic peoples in Mesoamerica giving rise to the domestic turkey, M. G. Domesticus. The Spaniards brought this tamed subspecies back to Europe with them in the mid-16th century, from Spain it spread to France and later Britain as a farmyard animal, usually becoming the centerpiece of a feast for the well-to-do. By 1620 it was common enough so that pilgrim settlers of Massachusetts could bring turkeys with them from England, unaware that it had a larger close relative already occupying the forests of Massachusetts. It is one of the smallest subspecies and is best known in Spanish from its Aztec-derived name, Guajolot. This wild turkey subspecies is thought to be critically endangered, as of 2010. Ocellated Turkey, Maligris Ocellata, Cuvier, 1820. The ocellated turkey, Maligris Ocellata, is a species of turkey residing primarily in the Yucatan Peninsula, Mexico, as well as in parts of Belize and Guatemala. The species was first described in 1820. A relative of the North American wild turkey, Maligris Galopavo, it was sometimes previously treated in a genus of its own, Agriacaris but the differences between the two turkeys are currently considered too small to justify generic segregation. It is a relatively large bird, at around 70 to 122 centimeters, 28 to 48 inches, long and an average weight of 3 kilograms, 6.6 pounds, in females and 5 kilograms, 11 pounds in males. The broad-breasted white is commercially the most widely used breed of domesticated turkey. These birds have shorter breast bones and larger breasts, sometimes rendering them unable to breed without human assistance, typically via artificial insemination. They produce more breast meat and their pin feathers are less visible when the carcass is dressed due to their white color. These properties have made the breed popular in commercial turkey production but enthusiasts of slow food argue that the development of this breed and the methods in commercial turkey production have come at a cost of less flavor. Average birds are typically 38 to 40 pounds because of their size, they are flightless and prone to health problems associated with being overweight, due to excess muscle, 
such as heart disease, respiratory failure and joint damage. Even if such turkeys are spared from slaughter, such as those involved in the annual turkey pardons, they usually have short lives as a result. Broad-breasted whites also have a very high percentage of their eggs hatch, which makes turkey eggs as a food item a rare delicacy. The bronze is a breed of domestic turkey. The name refers to its plumage, which bears an iridescent bronze-like sheen. The bronze had been the most popular turkey throughout most of American history, but waned in popularity beginning in the mid-20th century. Later in its history, the breed was divided into two distinct types the broad-breasted bronze and the standard bronze. A great deal of confusion exists about the difference between standard and broad-breasted bronzes, or that there is any difference at all. Collectively, the standard and broad-breasted varieties are simply called the bronze turkey. Average birds are typically 38 to 40 pounds because of their size, they are flightless and prone to health problems associated with being overweight, due to excess muscle. The black, sometimes referred to as the black Spanish or the Norfolk black, is a breed of domestic turkey. The black was developed in Europe from the Aztec turkeys originally brought from Mexico by Spanish explorers. Despite the monikers of Spanish and Norfolk, England, birds of this type live in many European nations. Originally, black colored turkeys were a relative rarity among New World flocks but Europeans heavily selected for this trait until it became predominant. The Norfolk Black is generally considered the oldest turkey breed in the UK. Black turkeys were sent in the holds of ships on the transatlantic crossing from Europe to the New World, and were raised by early colonists. It is possible the turkey consumed at the first Thanksgiving meal was taken from among European birds, rather than from among native wild turkeys, though both have common ancestors. Later, blacks were crossed with the wild turkey to help produce breeds such as the bronze, Narragansett, and slate. Average birds are typically 38 to 40 pounds because of their size, they are flightless and prone to health problems associated with being overweight, due to excess muscle. Bourbon reds were selectively bred for utility traits as a meat bird and was an important variety in the turkey industry throughout the 1930s and 1940s. Like most turkey breeds, it declined after the commercial adoption of the broad-breasted white. Populations began to recover in the early 21st century, and today it is one of the most popular heritage turkey breeds in the U.S. Despite its relative popularity as a heritage breed, it is still listed as watched by the American Livestock Breeds Conservancy, entailing that there are fewer than 5,000 breeding birds in the U.S. The Bourbon Red is also included in Slow Food USA's Arc of Taste a catalog of heritage American foods in danger of extinction. The Bourbon Red is a breed of domestic turkey named for its unique reddish plumage and for Bourbon County, Kentucky. The breed standard indicates that mature Bourbon Red Doms, males, weigh 15 kilograms, 33 pounds, and mature hens, females, weigh 8.2 kilograms, 18 pounds. 
The breed standard indicates the bourbon red should weigh 10.4 kilograms, 23 pounds, for toms and 6.3 kilograms, 14 pounds, for hens at slaughter age, 28 weeks. These standard weights were published with anticipation of the potential of the bourbon red and when the breed was at its prime. Though there are efforts to restore and accomplish the bourbon red standard, today these weights are realized by few breeders and growers. Bourbon reds have been unrefined for too long due to the lack of selective breeding to preserve the breed. However, mature turkeys in a breeding flock will exhibit an intense fluctuate 30% from these published weights due to their relentless, extensive and highly instinctive breeding season with their lowest weights typically being recorded in July. The White Holland is an old variety of domestic turkey known for its white plumage. The White Holland, whose connection to the Netherlands is unsubstantiated, originated from crosses of white European turkeys, re-imported to North America and crossed with native birds. The White Holland was first recognized by the American Poultry Association in 1874, and today is considered a heritage turkey breed. The breed was crossed in the 1950s with the broad-breasted bronze to create the broad-breasted white which is now the most common turkey breed in the world. They were also the base for creating the also rare Beltsville small white breed. Standard weights are today 36 pounds for a tom and 24 a hen. The Holland is currently listed as threatened by the Livestock Conservancy in the United States. The standard of perfection mostly now does not distinguish between White Holland and broad breasted white, though the White Holland is known for its hardiness, smaller breast, and longer legs. In Britain, the same has occurred and all white turkeys may be described by breeders as British white birds. The slate turkey is a breed of domestic turkey from the United States. It is also known as blue slate and lavender turkey and is known for the slate gray color of its plumage. Exact origin place of this breed is unknown, and there are speculations on how it was developed. There are theories that it is a crossbreed between a black Norfolk and an eastern wild turkey. Another theory is that the breed was developed from a crossbreed of a black turkey and a white turkey, though this is unproven with little genetic evidence. The slate turkey was recognized as a breed by the American Poultry Association in 1874. Today it is listed as critically endangered by the Livestock Conservancy, and meet the definition of a heritage turkey breed. Average live body weight of the mature slate turkey is between 6.3 and 10.5 kilograms. The Narragansett turkey is a breed of Maligris galopivo which descends from a cross between the eastern wild turkey, Maligris galopivo silvestris, and the domestic turkey. According to the American Livestock Breeds Conservancy, the Narragansett turkey is a historic variety, unique to North America and is named for Narragansett Bay. The breed is prized for its excellent temperament combining a calm disposition with good maternal abilities. They mature early, are good egg producers, have excellent quality meat, and when kept at liberty, it doesn't wander too far from home. 
improved over generations through selective breeding, young Narragansett turkey toms weigh 22 to 28 pounds and hens weigh 12 to 16 pounds. They can run quickly, fly well, and prefer to spend their nights roosting in trees. The Beltsville Small White is a breed of domestic turkey. The bird was named after its physical characteristics, a relatively small size and entirely white plumage, as well as its place of origin, the USDA's Beltsville Agricultural Research Center in Maryland. The Beltsville Small White was developed beginning in 1934 in response to market research that said consumers wanted a turkey of small to medium size with no dark pin feathers. In a breeding program at the Beltsville Center that lasted from 1934 to 1941, the USDA used White Holland, White Austrian, Narragansett, Bronze, and Wild Turkey Genetics. The breed was used commercially in the 1940s, and was recognized officially by the American Poultry Association in 1951. As a result of being developed specifically for smaller, urban households, the breed never had the size to satisfy the demands of restaurants. By the 1970s, it had nearly disappeared, and the broad-breasted white had come into prominence. It is still extremely rare today, and is listed as critical by the American Livestock Breeds Conservancy. It retains interest primarily among breed enthusiasts and those interested in a heritage turkey breed. The Buff or Jersey Buff is a breed of domestic turkey named for its buff-colored plumage. Accepted into the standard of perfection by the American Poultry Association in 1874, the original strain of buff turkey was used in the development of the bourbon red breed but had died out entirely by the early 20th century. This was partly due to the difficulty in selectively breeding the proper color pattern, and also to the rise of new commercial breeds on the market. In the 1940s, interest in the buff turkey was revived, and a new strain of the breed, called the New Jersey buff after where it was developed, was created. Still, the broad-breasted white continued to edge out all other heritage turkey breeds like the buff, and today is critically endangered, according to the American Livestock Breeds Conservancy. It has also been included in Slow Food USA's Arc of Taste. The breed is most popular in the US, but is also found in the UK and Australia. The buff has a very light or reddish-brown plumage, which is its defining characteristic. A trait that drew interest from breeders is the fact that the lighter feathers of the breed present an easier, cleaner carcass. However, it has not been aggressively selected for production characteristics, and is thus significantly smaller than many modern breeds. Young toms weigh around 21 pounds and mature hens weigh roughly 12 pounds. The Dinden Rouge des Ardennes Turkey is a breed of turkey which supposedly brought to Flanders in the 16th century from Mexico by the Spanish. The breed almost disappeared but started again in 1985, especially in champagne art. Today it is the most popular turkey breed in France. The Dinden Rouge des Ardennes turkey are medium-sized birds with very beautiful appearance. 
They are generally of red or rust color with white in the wings and tail feathers. Red color of the tail is cleaner and the large feathers of the wings are more or less shaded with red. Feathers of the tom are bordered by a thin, very dark brown fillet. And the hens are of pretty brighter. Both toms and hens have thick and strong thighs, and their fingers are of pink color. Average live body weight of the mature tom is between 8 to 9 kilograms. And the mature hens on average weight around 4 to 4.5 kilograms. The blue or the slate is a variety of American turkeys, which is named for its color. It is solid to ashy blue over the entire body, with or without a few black flecks. Lighter varieties of the blue turkey are sometimes called lavender turkeys. The blue turkey is believed to have evolved from crossing Norfolk blacks, introduced to America with some subspecies of the wild turkey. Due to the gene combination that produces this slate color, offspring may be black or slate blue. Usually lighter birds and black birds are being used to get the standardized color of the blue turkey. So breeding for show quality color, which is listed as slate or ashy blue, is a challenge indeed. Unfortunately, the blue turkey is listed as a critically endangered breed, perhaps due to the adoption of more productive commercial strains. But careful selection for good health, ability to mate naturally, and production attributes will return this variety to its former stature. Male 15 kg, female 8.2 kg. The Royal Palm is a breed of domestic turkey. One of the few turkeys not primarily selected for meat production, the Royal Palm is best known as an ornamental bird with a unique appearance, largely white with bands of metallic black. Primarily kept as an exhibition bird, or on small farms, it lacks the size for a large-scale commercial use. Toms usually weigh 16 to 22 pounds and the hens 10 to 12 pounds a relative newcomer among turkey breeds. The bird first appeared in the 1920s on a farm in Lake Worth, Florida, apparently as a cross between black, bronze, Narragansett, and native turkeys. Years of selective breeding followed to stabilize the coloring and the Royal Palm was finally accepted by the American Poultry Association's Standard of Perfection in 1971. In Europe, a turkey with similar coloration is sometimes called the Kralwitzer, Pied, or Black Laced White. The toms are noted for being non-aggressive, and the hens are particularly good mothers. The Auburn, also known as the light brown, is a breed of domestic turkey. A heritage turkey, the Auburn is one of the rarest varieties currently in existence. This is an old variety that was listed in receipts when transporting turkeys to markets in turkey trots during the late 1700s and early 1800s in Philadelphia. They are sex-linked and thus were important at the beginning of this century for producing poults that could be sexed at hatching. However, this did not become a serious market requirement and they never became very popular. A variant of the bronze coloring, this variety shows a similarity in pattern but the black is replaced by reddish-brown and bronze by light tan. Weights are the same for historical bronze, 
35 pound toms, 19 pound hens. Only 17 hens. More recent counts have dropped this to 12 hens, and 10 toms, which is less than 1% of the total historical turkeys found. The largest flock had 6 hens and 4 toms, and, that has dropped since. The domestic turkey, Meligris gallopavo, is a large fowl, one of the two species in the genus Meligris and the same as the wild turkey. Although turkey domestication was thought to have occurred in central Mesoamerica at least 2000 years ago, recent research suggests a possible second domestication event in the southwestern United States between 200 BC and AD 500. However, all of the main domestic turkey varieties today descend from the turkey raised in central Mexico that was subsequently imported into Europe by the Spanish in the 16th century. Domestic turkey is a popular form of poultry, and it is raised throughout temperate parts of the world, partially because industrialized farming has made it very cheap for the amount of meat it produces. Female domestic turkeys are referred to as hens, and the chicks may be called poults or turkeylings. In the United States, the males are referred to as toms, while in the United Kingdom and Ireland, males are stags. Rations generally include corn and soybean meal, with added vitamins and minerals, and is adjusted for protein carbohydrate and fat based on the age and nutrient requirements. Hens are slaughtered at about 14 to 16 weeks and toms at about 18 to 20 weeks of age when they can weigh over 20 kilograms, 44 pounds, compared to a mature male wild turkey which weighs approximately 10.8 kilograms, 24 pounds. Use a chick starter or game bird starter for turkey poults. Protein should be at least 28% for this starter, and you can feed it for the first 6 weeks. After 6 weeks, you can switch to a grower feed. It should have at least 20% protein, higher than that required for chickens. Turkeys typically grow to slaughter size within 6 months. For an average tom, you will feed him approximately 100 pounds of feed, and for a hen, 60 pounds. Adult turkeys will eat as much as 50% of their intake from pasture or range grass. Range grass is grass that is 4 to 6 inches long. Turkeys like to eat the growing tips of the grass. They will also enjoy any kitchen or garden scraps, lettuce, tomatoes, sweet corn, summer squash, and so on. Hens lay a clutch of 10 to 14 eggs, usually one per day. The incubation period is 28 days in Turkey. There are two methods of incubation. A. Natural incubation with broody hens. Naturally turkeys are good brooders and the broody hen can hatch 10-15 numbers of eggs. Only clean eggs with good eggshell and shape should be placed for brooding to get 60-80% hatchability and healthy poults. b. Artificial incubation. In artificial incubation, eggs are hatched with the help of incubators. The temperature and relative humidity in setter and hatcher at a temperature of 99.5 degrees Fahrenheit. Eggs should be turned at hourly intervals daily. Eggs should be collected frequently to prevent soiling and breakage and also to get better hatchability.